Hey guys, I'm Kayla Fournier and welcome to Zay's Crochet and Macrame. Today I'm going to show you how to make a crochet beach cover-up dress. In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make a size medium for this dress, but I will also be telling you how you can make a size small as well. I'll be using 100% Pima cotton for this yarn, which is machine washable. This beach cover-up is great to wear over your bathing suit on the beach, or even if you want to wear it as just like a regular sexy dress, you can do that as well. It is up to you. And you can get a finished product of this beach dress cover-up on my Etsy shop if you don't feel like making it yourself. And I also have the digital pattern on there as well if you would like the written version of this cover-up instead of just looking at the video tutorial. Feel free to follow me on Instagram at Zay's Crochet to stay updated with the latest patterns and tutorials that I come out with. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel here if you want to see new do-it-yourself crochet and macrame tutorials. Please like this video if it was helpful to you and comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this pattern and if it was easy enough for you to do or if you have any questions, let me know. All right, guys, let's get started. For this tutorial, you will need a size 3.25 millimeter crochet hook, crafting scissors, and a yarn threading needle. I will be using the brand Cascade Yarns Ultra Pima Cotton Yarn made with 100% Pima Cotton. This yarn is one of my favorites. It is nice and soft and durable. It's machine washable. We're going to be using about four skeins for a size small and five skeins for a size medium at 220 yards each. Here's the measurements in case you decide to use a different brand yarn for this tutorial. We're going to go ahead and wrap our yarn into a ball. And now we'll get started. So we're going to start off by making our slip knot. Put our yarn on our hook. So I'm going to be doing a size medium. So I will be chaining 203 chains. If you are going to be doing a size small for this dress cover up, do 175 chains. So 203 for medium, 175 for a small. All right, I have my 203 chains, and now we are going to attach with a slip stitch to the very first chain where we started. Just make sure that your yarn and your chains are not twisted when you go ahead and slip stitch. So we've now formed a large circle after we slip stitch. And then we're going to go ahead and chain four. And then I'm going to skip the next chain, double crochet into the second chain. Our chain three acts as our first double crochet and then with the one chain one space. Then we're going to chain one, skip the next chain, double crochet into the next chain. Chain one, skip the next chain, double crochet into the next chain. So we're going to be skipping a chain between each double crochet to make a space. So we're going to continue to keep doing the same pattern all the way around to the other side of the row. 
Okay, I've now completed row one. I've ended with a double crochet, and now I'm gonna go ahead and slip stitch up to the third chain here, right at the beginning where we started. And that officially completes our first row. Now we're going to chain two, and then we're gonna do half double crochets into each stitch. So go into the next chain one space and do a half double crochet. Half double crochet into the next double crochet stitch. Half double crochet into the next chain one space. And just continue to do one half double crochet into each stitch all the way around to complete the row. I'm now at the end of row two, and now to complete, we're going to slip stitch into the second chain here where we first started. The first chain two counts as our first half double crochet. So row two is done and now on to row three. We're gonna chain four. And then I'm gonna do a double crochet back into that same chain space, stitch, same stitch, doing a double crochet. And then I'm going to chain seven. Then I'm going to skip over the next six stitches and I'm gonna do a double crochet into the seventh stitch. We're gonna do one double crochet and then chain one, one double crochet back into that same exact stitch. So our first chain three here counts as a double crochet, then there's the chain one space and then another double crochet. And we're just going to keep continuing this pattern. So chain seven. Skip the next six stitches and double crochet into the seventh stitch. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet back into the same stitch. We're going to repeat that pattern all the way around to the other side of the row. Alright, I've completed row 3. I've ended with 7 chains. And now I'm going to skip on over to the third chain here where I first started with a slip stitch. And that completes row 3. Now onto row four, we're gonna slip stitch right into this chain one space. Then we're gonna chain four and do a double crochet into that same chain one space. Then we're gonna chain seven And we're going to skip on over to the chain one space here with a double crochet, chain one, double crochet into the same chain one space. So we're just going to be repeating the same thing as row three. So we're going to continue to do the same pattern going all the way around to the other side. Chain seven, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the same space.
All right, I'm at the end of row four. I've chained seven, skipping right over to the top of the third chain up where I first started. Going on to row five, we're going to slip stitch right into the chain one space, chain four, double crochet back into that same chain one space. And we're going to chain three, and we're going to slip stitch right into the chain seven space. Chain three, do one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet into the chain one space. Chain three, slip stitch into the chain seven space. You don't need to slip stitch in onto a specific chain, just right into the space is fine. Then chain three, skip over to the chain one space, one double crochet, chain one, one double crochet. And we're going to continue to just repeat the same pattern going all the way around to the other side of this row. I'm at the end of row five, a chain three. I'm slip stitching into the space, chaining three again. Gonna slip stitch right at the top of the chain three where we first started. Now on to row six, we're gonna slip stitch into the chain one space, going to chain three. Do one double crochet into the chain one space. We're gonna chain one, and then do two more double crochets back into that same chain one space. Then I'm gonna chain seven. Skip on over to the next chain one space and do two double crochets chain one, two double crochets, back into that same chain one space. Chain seven. Skip on over to the next chain one space, do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the same space. We're going to continue to repeat that same pattern all the way around to the other end of the row. I'm at the end of row six. I chain seven and I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of the third chain where we first started. Okay, now on to row seven, I'm going to slip stitch into the next stitch, the next double crochet here. and then slip stitch right into the chain one space. Chain three. One double crochet back into the chain one space. Chain one. Two more double crochets back into that same chain one space. Then I'm going to chain three slip stitch into the chain seven space, chain three, 
and then two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the next chain one space. Chain three. Slip stitch into the chain seven space, chain three, two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the same chain one space. We're going to continue to repeat the same pattern going all the way around to the other side. So for the next six rows, after this row, we're going to repeat rows six and seven so that we have the same pattern as six and seven, three more times each for a total of six more rows till we get to our 13th row. Alright, I've now finished my 13 rows and then I've stopped on my 14th row here, which I have done halfway through. So this time I just did three chains, one double crochet, and then I chained seven and then continued to do the same pattern as I did for row six, except for a size medium here, we are just going to be going over 10 horizontal lace rows, but for a size small, you would have gone over 9 horizontal lace rows so we could start our arm sleeves here. So now we're going to chain 23. And after we do our 23 chains for our size medium that I'm doing, I'm going to be skipping over five of these horizontal lace rows and going right into the sixth one, right into the chain one space of the six horizontal lace row. But for the size small, you're only going to skip over four of the horizontal lace rows and work right into the fifth one. So I'm skipping right over to this chain one space here in the sixth horizontal lace row that horizontally. So I'm going to do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets back into that same chain one space. So I'm now going to do a total of eight more of the horizontal lace rows so that I have a total of nine all together right here before I go on to the next sleeve. But if you're doing a size small, you will be doing a total of, you'll be doing seven more lace horizontal rows for a total of eight. All right, so I've stopped here for a total of nine of my lace rows of two double crochet, chain one, two double crochets. So now I'm just going to chain 23, just like we did for the other sleeve. And then we're going to just go over to the other side and attach it. So we're going to skip over these last five horizontal lace rows go right back to where we started here in the beginning and I'm going to join right into that chain one space by doing two double crochets so two double crochets and a chain one and then I'm going to join with a slip stitch at the top of that third chain there where we first started the row. 
Now this completes row 14. So onto row 15, I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into this chain 1 space here. And then I'm going to chain 3. Do a double crochet back into the chain 1 space. Chain 3. Slip stitch into the chain 7 space. Chain 3. And do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the chain one space. So we're going to repeat that eight more times till we make our way over to the next sleeve. Okay, so I have made my way over to my arm sleeve here. I'm going to chain three. I'm going to skip the next three chains and slip stitch into the fourth chain. Then chain three again. Skip the next three chains and do two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets into the fourth chain. And you're just gonna repeat this pattern to the end of the sleeve here. All right, I'm at the end of my sleeve. I am chaining three, and then I am going right into the next chain one space here with two double crochets. Chain one, two double crochets. Okay, so as you can see, we have gone from five of our horizontal lace patterns on our sleeve to only two. So we dropped three of them and with the size small you went from four to two. So now we're just going to continue this row the same way and continue this sleeve the same exact way we did with the first one by skipping three chains, slip stitching into the fourth chain and so on. All the way till we get to where we first started here with two double crochets, chain one, and slip stitching at the top there. Okay, I'm at the end of my row. I have chained three, and I'm skipping over the last three chains, and I'm going right into that chain one space with two double crochets and a chain one. Then slip stitch to the top of the third chain there. <clears throat> so that completes row 15. And now we're on to row 16. So I'm going to slip stitch <clears throat> back into that chain one space behind me here. Then I'm going to chain three, 
double crochet into the chain one space, and then chain seven. And skip on over to the next chain one space here with two double crochets, chain one, two double crochets. And we're just going to continue to repeat the same pattern as we were before. So we're just going to continue to repeat the same exact pattern all the way around to the other side to complete row 16. And then we're just going to keep repeating the same exact thing as rows 15 and 16 continuously for the next 56 rows. So for the size medium, at the end we will have a total of 72 rows. For the size small, at the end you will have a total of 62 rows. So there will be 10 more rows on the medium than the size small. So after row 16, do 56 more rows the same exact way, repeating 15 and 16 for our size medium. So I've now completed my 72nd row. And you can really make this however long or short you desire. So now we're just going to take off where we left off. And you want to make sure that your last row is a chain 7 between each space, not the chain 3, slip stitch, chain 3. So now for row 73, we're going to chain 5. So my first three chains here count as my first double crochet. So then I'm going to skip over the next two stitches and double crochet into the third stitch. Chain two. Skip the next two chain stitches here double crochet into the third stitch. Chain two, skip the next two stitches, double crochet into the third, third stitch. And we're just going to continue to repeat this pattern all the way around to the beginning of the row. All right, I am now at the end of row 73. I have chain two here, skipping the last two stitches, and I am slip stitching into the first, into the third chain stitch here at the beginning. And our row is complete. Now row 74, we're just going to go ahead and slip stitch right into that chain 2 space. And then I'm going to chain 4. Skip over the double crochet and slip stitch, uh, single crochet right into the chain 2 space. Chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain 2 space. Chain 4 again single crochet into the next chain two space. So we're just going to repeat that three more times so that we have a total of six little humps of chain fours. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we're going to go right into this chain two space with four double crochets. So one, two, three, four. And then go ahead and single crochet right into the next chain two space. Chain four. 
single crochet into the next chain two space, chain four, and go ahead and do that same pattern for a total of six times like we just did of chain fours and single crochet into the chain two space. And then do four double crochets right into the next chain two space. Okay, so we're just going to continue to repeat that same exact pattern all the way around to the other side. Okay, we are at the end of row 74. I chained four, and I am now just going to slip stitch back into the beginning chain space here where we first started. So as you can see, there is usually six sections of chain fours in between each four double crochets, but for at the end here, you have an extra of one, two, three, four sections of the chain four spaces. Um, so it's just going to be a little off on that one part, but you won't even be able to know the difference when you are done with the dress. Okay, so row 75. We are going to slip stitch into the next two chain stitches here and then slip stitch into the chain four space and I'm going to chain four skip over to the next chain four space with a single crochet chain four single crochet into the next chain four space chain four and just keep doing that till we make our way over to our four double crochets here Okay, and then I'm going to do two double crochets into each of these four double crochets here. So two double crochets into the first stitch, two double crochets into the next stitch, and two double crochets into each of the last two stitches so that we have a total of eight double crochets. Now we're going to single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, and this is the same pattern we're going to repeat all the way around for this row of row 75. I've made it to the end of row 75, chain 4, now I'm joining in with a slip stitch at the beginning of the first single crochet. So then I'm going to slip stitch again into the next two chains, now on row 76, single crochet into that chain 4 space, chain 4, single crochet into the next chain 4 space, chain 4, single crochet into the next chain four space and continue that working our way over to our fan laces that we are making 
Okay, and then now I'm going to do two double crochets into the first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochets into the next stitch. And one double crochet into the next. So I'm just going to keep repeating this pattern of two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets for this entire fan lace. And then I'm going to single crochet into the next chain four space, chain four, single crochet into the next chain four space. Okay, so we're just going to continue to repeat that same pattern for each of our fan laces going all the way around. I'm at the end of row 76. I'm going to chain four. And slip stitch into the first single crochet here where we started. Now row 77, again we're going to uh, slip stitch into the first two chains here. Single crochet into the chain 4 space, chain 4. Slip stitch, single crochet into the next chain 4 space, chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain 4 space, chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain 4 space. And then we're going to repeat the same thing we just did by doing two double crochets into the first stitch. And then one double crochet into the next stitch. Two double crochets into the next and one double crochet into the next. So you're going to repeat that for the entire fan lace. And then single crochet into the next chain 4 space, chain 4, and continue to repeat the same exact pattern that we've been doing. So we're going to continue to do the same thing we just did, two double crochets, one double crochet, two double crochets, one double crochet. Do that into each of the fan laces all the way around to the other side. And so after you finish row 77, we're going to do the same exact thing for row 78, repeating the same pattern, alternating two and one double crochet for each of the fan lace. Okay, so I am at the end of row 78. So I just did 77 and 78. 78 was done the same way as 77. And I slip stitched into my beginning single crochet. So now for row 79, we're going to sl sl slip stitch into the next two chains. Single crochet into the chain 4 space, chain 4. Single crochet into the next chain four space. And now I'm going to do just one double crochet into each stitch. So one double crochet into the first, one double crochet into the next, and just do one double crochet into every stitch for each of our fan laces. So continue that, single crochet here, chain four, single crochet in the chain four space, one double crochet into each stitch, all the way around to the other side. I'm now at the end of row 79, now I'm on row 80. So I've slip stitched, and I'm going to slip stitch into the next two chains, and single crochet into that chain four space. And now I'm going to do a double crochet into the first stitch, and then I'm going to chain two. 
and then I'm going to skip the next stitch and double crochet into the next stitch. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch, double crochet into the second stitch. Chain 2, skip 1 stitch, double crochet into the second stitch. We're going to repeat this same exact pattern to the end of our lace, our fan lace. I'm at the end of my fan lace and I'm going to go right into that chain 4 space with a single crochet and then go right into the next stitch with a double crochet, chain 2, skip 1 stitch, double crochet into the second stitch, chain 2, skip 1 stitch, double crochet into the second stitch. Repeat the same pattern all the way around to the end of the row. I'm now at the end of row 80 and I've stopped right here at the end of my last fan lace. Instead of continuing over to here, I have stopped. And we're just going to start row 81 right from here. So we're going to do a picot. Picot stitch, we're going to do chain 3 and then slip stitch back into that same chain 4 space. Slip stitch into the next stitch slip stitch into the next chain 4 space, chain 3, slip stitch back into the same chain 4 space and that's going to be our picot stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next chain 4 space and do a picot, slip stitch into the next stitch and then slip stitch into the next chain 4 space and do a picot again. slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the next stitch there and do another picot. So we're doing a picot on every other stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next chain two space and do a picot. Slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next chain two space and do another picot. So we're going to do the picots into each of those chain two spaces on our fan laces. So continue that all the way to the other end of the row. And in between each fan lace, you're going to do three slip stitches on those stitches there. So when you do your last picot, you slip stitch one, two, and three and slip stitch right into the fourth stitch there where's our chain two space and start your peacock. So in between each fan lace do three slip stitches in between. Okay I'm now at the end of row 81 and I have made it back to where I started and I'm just gonna end with a slip stitch into this last stitch here. And then I'm going to cast off, cut off our yarn, and we have completed the basics of the dress. And now we're going to move on to a few finishing touches. Okay, so this is what the bottom of our beautiful beach dress cover-up looks like with our nice fan laces at the bottom. And as you can see over here to the left, we just have that little space there, um, which you can't even tell the difference with the rest of the dress here when you have it on. So now we're going to do a little touch-up here at the collar. Okay, so this would technically be row 82. So I am going to cast on my yarn again, and we are going to do some peacocks around the neck area. So I'm just going to slip stitch right here. You can go into any stitch, but I'm going to go where I first started. 
going to do a picot, so we're going to chain three, slip stitch back into the same space. And then slip stitch into the next stitch, slip stitch into the next chain one space, and do a picot. Chain three, slip stitch back into the same stitch. Slip stitch into the next stitch, and then do a picot into the next. So you're gonna repeat this pattern all the way around on the neck part of the collar so that we have a nice finishing touch for our cover up. So I'm now at the end of row 82, and I'm gonna cast off. And then I'm going to tie an extra knot just to secure it. Okay, and now we're going to move on to our sleeves. So we're just going to do some half double crochets working our way all the way around our sleeves here on each side. So go ahead and cast on your yarn again. And you can just join in pretty much anywhere. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter where you start. So I'm going to start right here. I'm going to slip stitch. And then I'm going to chain two. And then I'm going to do a half double crochet into each stitch going all the way around to the other side. So working into each and every chain. For this size medium we're going to have a total of 95 half double crochets working our way all the way around. And for the size small, we're going to have about 80 half double crochets for our sleeves. Once we finish our first sleeve, we're going to go on and do the same thing for the second sleeve. Okay, so I have completed both of my sleeves. I have done about 95 half double crochets all the way around for the size medium. And then we're just going to go ahead and start to sew in all of our loose tail ends. So grab your yarn threading needle and we're going to sew th through any loose yarn ends. We are now officially completed with our crochet beach cover-up dress. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope it was simple enough for you to be able to follow along too. Please like this video if it was helpful to you and comment down below and let me know what you thought about this pattern and this cover-up overall. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay updated with the latest 
patterns and tutorials that I come out with or follow me on Instagram at Zay's Crochet and you can also visit my Etsy shop which the link will be down below if you would like to purchase a finished product of this beach cover-up dress or to see any of the other stuff I make I also have my written digital patterns on there as well okay guys have a wonderful day thanks for watching